What's going on, you guys? It's Ricky with Tech with Solutions. Hope you guys are all having an amazing day. My name's Ricky, and this is Justin. Justin, come on, come out, come out, come on, come on. <laughs> all right, no, you have to come out in this live stream. Come on, you never come out in the live stream. You have to come out over here. All right, so we just got a couple um, things done. We're jumping on some calls. Um, guys, it's super exciting. I want to talk about two or three different ETFs that have experienced huge pullbacks. I'm going to talk about the patterns. I'm going to talk about why this is so important and why you can use this concept in multiple different ETFs when you're choosing to invest in them. So I want to say what's up to everyone that is tuning in live. If you guys uh, ever want to tune in live, be sure to smash that subscribe button. We have almost 130,000 subscribers. I can't thank you guys enough. I think in, in, in the monthly process, we're growing at like a 10,000 subscriber rate. So unbelievable, right? Um, I want to shout out to all these people. What's going on, Jacob? What's going on, Brandon? If you are tuning in live, uh, let me know what is it that you are trading today. So feel free to let me know the ticker or... Um, what should we tell them? What is your favorite place to eat lunch? Because we're actually going to go get some, some food right now. Okay, Google. Pause. What's going on, Levi? What's going on, Leo? What's going on? Uh, what is it? Is that Sarah? Or, uh, Sar Sarthak? Uh, um, what's going on, Loris? What's going on, Jam? Jessica? Boom, boom, boom. I like it. I like it. So, guys, thank you guys again so much for tuning in. If you guys have never watched any of my videos, Again, my name is Rookie. We have a, it's the third link in the description. You know, uh, we have a free Facebook group, over 90,000 members within both our Facebook group and our private group chat for TechBot Solutions. It's all free. If you like surrounding yourself with like-minded individuals, if you like surrounding yourself with people that motivate you, then I believe that we are the best group out there. And again, we are free and accessible for everyone. So let's go ahead and get this started. So I jumped on a call with our private group this morning. That's the Learn, Plan, Prof group. That's the first link in the description. And it was um, a pretty interesting uh, chat. So I, I know those that tuned in saw that I was a little bit um, uneasy this morning just because of like the repetitive questions that we were get, uh, getting for like the breakdowns. But again, uh, it was just a little bit of a rough morning. Um, it's actually because Justin, I'm going to put it all on blast right now. No, Me and Justin stop. were supposed to have a meeting last night. Um, so Justin's one of my roommates, right? And uh, me and Justin work like usually um, all day. And Justin went to work and stuff like that. And then he came back. And Shut can you up. can you believe this? We had a meeting Shut that was up. supposed to uh, be completed by 11 to 12 um, a.m., right? So, I mean, we worked, like, very late, right? And he has the audacity <laughs> to so jump stupid. on a call, a FaceTime You're call so with this girl. Hey, you can't say the S word on these chats. He ch chooses to jump on a call with a girl over FaceTime for, like, two hours. Two hours. And this is the funny thing. Every time that I talk to a girl and I do that, they roast me. So I just want to put him on blast. What you guys think about Justin? Put it down in the comment section. Put it in the live stream. Let me know what you guys think about Justin. You know, <laughs> Justin, you should really be keeping your priorities straight. Oh my God. We have we have projects that we're working on that are going to be free applications for the TechWood Solutions and overall trading community. And you are on the phone talking to some girl. <laughs> yeah, right. You do the same thing. <laughs> no, okay. Every night. Every night. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to put him out on blast. I want to see what you guys are saying. Justin, oh, <laughs> oh my goodness, oh, bros before, I like that, chicas, that's good, that's very respectful, it's a score you have to play the game, uh, I mean, Justin, he calls himself Stephen Curry, because all his shoots for us, <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> he's got to do what he's got to do, oh, I, I like it, I like it, so, uh, let's try to keep it fun and let's try to keep it going. So um, the first one, so looking at this, uh, let's look at this 20-day analysis. You guys can see that uh, you guys were showing signs of this uptrend pattern recently. It's been showing signs of this potential reversal. Looking at the 180-day chart, I'm actually going to be looking at forward slash NG because that's ah, forward slash NG, ah, forward slash NG because that is the actual future that uh, you guys and D guys are based off of. It was actually validating, I mean, till today, till like, 30 minutes after the market opened, it was validating this SMA line. And then all of a sudden, right when I think that it has potential, boom, it drops like, you know, uh, four or five percent. Um, so or for natural gas, it drops like like only one percent. But unfortunately for you guys, it drops about three to four percent. And that's pretty that's quite a bit. That's quite a bit uh, big of a drop when it comes down to the overall patterns uh, for you guys. But because of this huge sell off, 
then that's where I see a lot of potential based on previous patterns on where it's previously sold off to. What I'm waiting for is for this thing to start breaking resistance level. So I'm going to wait for the break above 55 and from 55 to the overall resistance at around $58. That's usually where, you know, I think it's, it's very realistic. No, like $57. I think that's much more realistic. $58 would be a, a goal, uh, but it's been struggling to actually hit that during market open hours. It hit that during pre-market hours today. And that's why I thought we were going to end up being green. But because of this huge sell-off, now all I'm going to wait for is for the reversal. If it doesn't show a reversal or a confirmation that it's going to start trending up, then I'm not going to worry too much about it. But as you guys can see, my alerts are set here. I can choose to take a position right around $55 and then end up selling at around $57. This can be a simple day trade that I think can take place, you know, either tomorrow or the day that follows. Today is what, Wednesday? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you have uh, another call with Courtney? Hello. <laughs> All right, so that was the, that was the first yeah, ETF that I wanted to talk about. Another one that we did an amazing job, guys. You guys can watch my video. I, if it wasn't yesterday, it was the day before, and it was the pattern that we talked about. Gosh, again, very simple pattern, and it's this ascending uptrend pattern with the overall resistance at twenty four dollars. What I had so many people within TechBud Solutions, Learn Plan Profit, and our private group chats that direct messaged me and asked me, hey, what is it that I think about Drip, which is the inverse ETF of Gush, and what do I think about Gush, which is the one that was actively trending up, but the overall pattern on the 180-day chart was showing signs of this potential reversal because the SMA was starting to show signs of a peak. But what I said was, hey, if Gush ends up holding above $22 and breaks above the 180-day EMA, based on previous patterns, I think it has the potential to end up hitting $24. What did it do today? Again, I never know anything 100%. No one does, right? But looking at previous patterns and this upward staircase pattern that it's been showing with this overall resistance at $24, it made sense. And today, based on the call out that we had yesterday, people were able to cover 10% plus profit on one single trade within a one day swing trade. That's why, again, quality over quantity. That's why it's so effective if you can focus on consistent, swing trades, you only need to take one position, right? This entire week and, and lock it in, right? Cover profits to end up achieving your weekly goal. So a lot of people's weekly goal is five, 10%. How amazing is that, that you can cover that growth within just one to two days. That's the power of quality, right? Uh, and then the last one that I wanted to talk about was JDST. JDST is showing or was, is showing a very similar pattern to what JD, uh, to what Gush was showing. This ascending uptrend pattern with this overall resistance at $60. And do you see this ascending uptrend pattern that you see here that, you know, the lows that it had here, uh, this low is, you know, higher than this low. So it's this ascending uptrend pattern with an overall resistance. So this peak price point of about $60. So let's look at it intraday and how it's been performing. It's actually been pretty volatile. Um, and it's, there's a lot of news that's going into uh, into play when it comes down to the uh, the overall movement for forward uh, for JDST. But if you look at forward slash GC and the pattern that we've identified before, this is what I find most effective. Um, so looking at this overall pattern, we talked about this in the Learn Plan Profit Group. People ask me, hey, what do you think is going to happen with JNUG? Do you think that it still has moved uh, margin uh, to cover up? And and you guys can ask them if if I talked about this in the voice chat. So. It was having a sell-off. It balanced at around uh, 306, 307. That's what we talked about yesterday, and it started a trend up. Where is it most likely going to get rejected? Well, based off previous patterns, it gets rejected on this SMA indicator on the 180-day chart. Rejected, 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 rejected. It would make sense. I mean, it hasn't been rejected, but based off previous patterns, it would make sense on why it would get rejected there. It's a descending pattern while it continues to make lower lows, and that's a very powerful pattern because now that we know that, hey, you know, forward slash GC. So make sense of this. Forward slash GC is at its resistance near the SMA indicator. It's, it might be time to cover profits and wait for a potential reversal on the inverse ETF of JNUG because JNUG moves like forward slash GC. So look at it at the inverse. That's going to be JDST and then revisit J, uh, JDST. Hey, does this pattern make sense? Well, what do you know? This SMA indicator is acting as a support. Do you see this? Support, support, support. So it would make sense on why it would bounce there. It's an ascending uptrend pattern with an overall resistance at $60. It, it makes sense. So what is it that I'm going to be waiting for, for JDST to start actively trending up? Realistically, I know that the resistance is at $60, so that makes sense. 
where, what price point am I waiting for for it to actually start uh, trending up? So realistically, it's going to be anywhere around uh, 56.60 to 57 dollars. So I'm going to be a little bit conservative just because I want to make sure that I end up only taking quality positions, uh, and I'm going to set my alert at above 57 dollars. So when I get alerted that it holds above 57 dollars, does that mean that I'm going to buy right away? No, I'm going to revisit JBST and see if the overall pattern is holding above. $57. I don't want it just to peak 57 and then pull back. I want it to push to 57.50, pull back, bounce at $57, and then continue to show signs of this ascending uptrend pattern. So again, it's not just about hitting that resistance or that price point. It's knowing that it hit that price point. It's going to continue to move up. It pulls back, bounces at that ideal price point, like $57 or around there, and then continues that uptrend pattern. Again, buying the dip while something is actively trending up. And that is it. Uh, we talked about a couple of different uh, stocks like uh, Twitter and the reversal pattern that it's showing very quickly. I'll cover this. So this reversal uptrend pattern. Uh, Oracle as well having this reversal uh, uptrend pattern. Again, we talked about this one yesterday. Uh, Facebook itself uh, was one of our top call-outs as of yesterday. And what do you know? It's up 1% on the day. Uh, again, not huge amounts for, for a multi-billion dollar company, one of the largest out there uh, or most profitable. Then, you know, that's huge, right? Um, another thing that we called out was... Uh, something that was brought to my attention was HTZ and we called out the resistance on that SMA indicator. Do you see why it would get rejected there? It's gotten rejected there before, there, and there. It makes sense on why it would be time to potentially cover profits. Also also for CPG, we called out the bounce on this one, right? Uh, it broke above $7 and then look, it's riding right here on this SMA indicator as a resistance. Guys, it's very important to know, you know, when you're getting in, when you're getting out and to be able to use these different indicators on, you know, Maybe it might be time to cover profits, but again, I don't want to tell I'm not here to tell anyone what to buy what to sell none of that stuff I'm here to simply talk about what I see value in uh, and what's worked for me. So why does it look so? I can't see my hand just really crazy. There we go All right There we go I think I think um, what's it called? Total Rick move. Oh my <laughs> goodness Justin that's me Subscribe to my channel, Total Rick Move. No, 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 no. Um, <laughs> all right, guys. So thank you guys again so much for tuning in. If uh, For those that are asking what software am I using, I've talked about it multiple times in all my other videos. It's uh, TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim platform. It's a pr free platform that you have access to using. It's not one that I promote by, uh, by any means. It's one that I utilize, and that's why I share it with you. Um, and that's really just it. Um, I talked to you guys, and, and I've, you guys have seen my Another Day, Another Dollar videos. First of all, let me know if you guys like those videos. I feel like a lot of people do like them, but they get so many dislikes. You guys, I hope you guys know that I make them as a joke uh, or to be funny, right? I feel like too many people make trading videos that are so serious about like making money and stuff like that. My another day, another dollar videos, like the 40 second videos are, you know, just 40 second videos of me speaking even quicker than I normally do. And then talking about me covering profits, certain patterns to look for. Um, and it's supposed to like just provide like this like, Fun environment and, and I'm sorry if it doesn't let me know what you guys think I love making those videos I have a video that I have that was gonna show like an $800 profit and stuff like that uh, on one of the positions that I took last week um, but if you guys don't like it then you know just let me know and I won't upload those anymore uh, but I really felt like those were some, I mean I really enjoy making those videos and they take time to make them so um, I mean if you guys don't like them then I'll stop making them but um, Ricky is the man you just have to listen <laughs> Right? We deserve, how cool is it, guys? So, I mean, I talk about it all the time. Um, if you guys want to see my profits for the day, again, you guys can follow me on Instagram. Actually, we should do it. Uh, we should talk about this. For those that are interested in the Learn Plan Profit Lesson Library, that's my private group, my course group. That's the first link in the description. But if you guys don't follow me on Instagram already, we did get about 200 uh, new followers yesterday. My link is down below. You guys can follow me and the Tech Buds page. And if you see on my story, we're doing a giveaway. We're doing a giveaway to get TechFood Solutions to 10,000 uh, followers. And for everyone that mentions us in their story, let's say you take a picture or you make a 15 second video talking about what you like about TechFood Solutions and then plugging us in your story, we are going to pick one winner out of everyone who mentions us in their story for a course giveaway. So even if you purchased a course right now, even if you've purchased it before and you shout us out, if, you have, if you've already purchased it, we'll give you a refund, a full refund. And um, if you haven't purchased it already, uh, then you, if you end up choosing to, then again, just know that you can get a refund or we'll give you a, a free course if you uh, haven't purchased it at all. So I uh, just wanted to let you guys know all the links are down below to follow us on Instagram to shout us out and then we'll be picking one winner uh, 
I think by tonight, right? Yeah, I want to do it by 12 tonight. O'clock. Twelve o'clock. What the heck? And a day. He he acts like he's gonna be available at twelve o'clock when he's gonna be facetiming his <laughs> the love of it. the love of his life. Um. So. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you guys again so much again. Uh, <laughs> what? What does it say? Where? <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Thank you guys again so much for tuning in. Okay, Google. Play. All right, guys. Uh, today is, if I'm not mistaken, Wednesday, right? Check like four times, bro. Wednesday. It is Wednesday. Uh, we are shipping out all orders out for the Techbook Solutions Apparel. So again, all those links are down below. Thank you guys again so much for everything it is that you guys do. If you guys want to see my profits, again, it's in my Instagram story. It's, it wasn't a huge day. It was a little bit over $300, a little bit over $400, just to, guys get, uh, just to give you a gist of what to expect. Uh, but again, it's all about consistency, right? Making sure that you stay green and that you continue to grow your account. And that is exactly what we do. So if you've ever wanted to get started in investing in the stock market, invest about maybe 10 to 15 seconds of your life and click that first link in the description and see how me and the private group have been able to consistently make profit you know, investing in the stock market, it, no, no pumping dumps, nothing like that. It's understanding real patterns and building that foundation for yourself. And then you'll have the ability to actually speak to me every single morning at Market Open. It's an amazing community. It's an amazing environment. And I would love to be a part of your success. Thank you guys again. Continue working hard. Continue following your dreams. Let your passion be what drives in your success. And let me know if you guys want me to make a video. I'm closing on my last condo sale. So I'm selling one of my condos and I'm closing on that deal. If you guys want me to make a video on how to, you know, because I bought this condo like six months ago or seven months ago, no, eight months ago, uh, and I'm, gonna, I'm selling it now and I'm going to be making about like 40% profit. I'll, I'll make a video about it if you guys want me to. Let me know and I'd be more than happy to do, uh, to do so. Thank you guys again like always. Let's make sure that we're in the year on a green note. And again, strive to, strive to make money, not to be on the phone with a girl for about two hours when your buddy is supposed to, you know, when you're supposed to be with your friend uh, for, for, a, uh, for a meeting. Thank you guys again. Hope you guys all have an amazing Wednesday. Take it easy, team.